Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every trading day, well, each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time, has a great newsletter also, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, you're going to see you can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, okay? So no matter which one you use, bottom line, if it works for you, awesome. If for some reason it doesn't, 29th day, just let us know. You get your full money back. And as you get over there and you get Basil's newsletter, on that page also, he has approximately 11 webinars that you can go through and be educated to the hilt as to how we ride that wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing well. It was good to see you. It's been a while. Was it that fun? We had that, was, that was fun. Basil yes. and I went sailing, folks. We had some fun. It was... Yeah. Uh, you, t you talk about and we didn't we didn't even know it until that I was saying, hey man, I'm going to Boston. Are you saying, oh, too bad, I'm not going to be there. I'm going to be in Newport. Well, we were both in Newport, and uh, bottom line is that we had a blast. We did, and we were very lucky with the weather. That particular second week of June, you never know. I know. We were very fortunate. It was fabulous weather. Seriously. Yeah. Okay, so what's the weather in the market now? <laughs> All right, so we're looking at the waves in the market. And, you know, as you know, let me just drag this across. In the Chapman wave, we try to identify the lowest low bar, and we count each successively higher peak. We alphabetize them. Each higher peak is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's that fourth highest peak, peak D. That's the objective, and that's where other things can happen. That's where we become a bit cautious. Well, lo and behold, on Friday, we, we went up to leg D in the Chapman wave. We've been long, and we are still long the core positions from October, but our trading position on the three times long, we got stopped out today. We've been taking profits, and now we, we're out. And we, I wanted to go short, but this is the reason why I didn't go short, not just yet. I, I like to look at uh, moving averages, and the nine-period moving average above the 14, the higher it goes above the 14, the harder it is, or it takes longer, or it's a really serious decline before that green nine period moving average, that's on the daily chart on the left, that's the one right there, it crosses underneath the black 14 period moving average. You'd have to go somewhere down to 33,700, 33,600. I'm not saying it can't get there. What I'm saying is that when this distance is very wide, it takes a while. It takes a whole process. So there's another technique that I use. If I can just find my chart, there it is. And that is a pattern that I look at, which has a, a straight down move. And then at a peak A or B in the rebound from that sharp move down, that's where it turns around and it takes out that left side low. So it's a process. So in this particular instance, what I am anticipating is that the top of 34,588 on the short term in the, in, the, in the daily chart, I think that we might get close to it, but I don't, I don't think we're going to take it out in this particular move right now. And here you are in the weekly chart, we've got a, a leg D. That's only a leg. I have to wait all the way until Friday before I can say it's a P, because if it takes out 34,588, the high of last week, that just extends leg D. So this is a whole process going on, and you can see it in the other charts. But most importantly, what I am looking at is in if I go to something like PAVE, and I've been talking about this for a couple of weeks now, PAVE is the ETF. We, we had it once. We don't have it anymore. It's the Global X U.S. Infrastructure Development ETF. And it's so interesting because when you're looking at the market, if you think there's going to be a huge crash, a black swan event, it would be so unusual for this infrastructure area to be at a new all-time high, or in this case, just a couple of points away. Um, it, that would be unusual. So I do like this pattern very, very much. And that just says to me, be ready for a digestive phase. You've got stocks. You know, we, we've had um, artificial intelligence stock. We've had the stock SYM for quite some time, since the 21s. It hit 53 the other day. Um, it's pulled back a little bit, been taking profits. 
um, got a core position, but at this particular stage, this is a look at this a weekly chart. I mean, it's just extended. It's not overextended uh, in terms of looking at a parabolic curve. If you're looking at the weekly chart, and you can't really go by the the monthly because this really was an IPO. So this is just the first big leg up in the monthly chart. It's the first time it's it's gotten to this kind of an A from the beginning of of a move. So I'm looking at this. I'm saying we're taking some profits. Another one that we took profits, very nice profits in this this uh, symbolic SYM. We took about 100 uh, up to 120 percent profit in, in different positions. We've taken profits there, and we've taken some profits in bots. We were in this in the 24s. It hit 30 the other day, round number high. I always look at these round numbers. But look here again. The MACD, the MACD is good. The stochastic's holding above 80 percent, 92 percent. The nine is way above the fourteen. I, I just something has something really economically bad has to happen for this. All of these in the daily charts just to smash to the downside. So I think it's in a process of digesting gains, and then I think there will be a bit of a deeper pullback when we finally get some kind of a, a turnaround that says the nine is under the fourteen. In all these cases, but I'm just being somewhat careful here. We've raised we've raised cash. We still have very nice core positions, and I'm just watching to see how this plays out. I'm not happy that the uh, financial area is really still weak. I like everything to go together. I like the financials, like the XLF, to be in sync with the market, and right now it really isn't in sync. So we've got a very diverse market. We've been fortunate enough to be in the areas that have worked, but I'm also now looking at areas that maybe if we do have some kind of a consolidation, these are other areas that should do quite nicely in this environment. So I'm yeah, a little cautious if we, if here. We, if we get into a consolidation, Basil, as you said at the beginning, I mean, it's going to be quite a down trap, I mean, if you're going to get down to those moving averages. I mean, you know, because yes. we went up so fast. So, I mean, that's, and that's like right. today, so you can see the volume's really light, man. So it's like, volume, okay, right. the seller's so still on out here. Yeah. Right. I'm not just missing that we can't have points to the downside. I'm saying it's a process and that I'm not getting – I have to see it unfold. I'm not just right. going no, to no, guess sure. right now that yeah. we're smashing the downside. So it is a process I'm expecting. Residual strength is still there. The rotational – you know, you've got a, a stock like Caterpillar. Why would Caterpillar be doing so well, not, very close to all-time highs in this environment? So I don't want to get over negative. I know that there are a lot of – I mean, you put poor ratio. You can look at many things, in, but – it's the rotational aspect that I think is really important because if we get those artificial intelligence and even stocks like a Microsoft that's been influenced, look, this has got a peak E. This looks like the 351 high in Microsoft made just the other day. It might break it by a little bit, but I think it's, it's starting a consolidation. So I'm looking at this very selectively, but I, I'm, I'm not very bearish. I'm just looking to go short on a sharp pullback at some point. Folks, get over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see uh, the opening call newsletters, the opening call right in the left-hand side. Just hit that button and you are off to the races. Bows, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.